but that first time that I get to hear them will be such an experience. Like, did you hear Stella's voice? <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Whoever Here. I hope that you are all doing well. I am realising that some of SB19's best fan cams are from the Wyatt era, which is why you will see that I am making my way through quite a fair few performances. Today is something a little bit different because this was SB19 performing for the National Arts Month in earlier this year, 2023, and so this venue is a little bit different. I guess the makeup of the audience will be a bit different, although as soon as 18 found out that they were performing here, I'm sure sure they made their way there. Um, I'm not really sure how this works. Because this is actually for Arts Month, perhaps it was free to get in, so it's kind of like first come first served. What a nightmare. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to this because it's a different stage. I'm sure they're going to give us a different presentation. I remember, again, the quirky outfits from this. Pablo in particular, is this the one where it looks like he's wearing a long shirt at the front, but actually it's not at the back? Something like that. Um, but yes, I saw a snippet of this in one of their vlogs, and I must watch this. Do you want to watch this with me? Here we go. Oh, no. I forgot that still have this, like, cut-off sweatshirt thing. Who's wearing a bucket hat, Ken? The outfits are really, really quirky, aren't they? I'm not sure what to make of this. I mean, only SB19 could pull this off because they just give their absolute all that they make wearing these very strange outfits. Believable. Um, I actually really like what Stell's wearing. Perhaps if the colour was brighter, it would be even better. But I like that that cut-off sweatshirt thing, it just makes his shoulders look even stronger and broader. And I love those trousers on him. And seeing him in boots as well is a big thumbs up. And I hate Ken in a bucket hat because it hides his face. Please, it's just not on and I'm not sure what's going on with this shirt either but it's fine why is this quirky do you hear that voice what is always going to be that song Love that job. Oh no. Oh no. Charles laces are undone. I'm just going to go ahead and admit it myself. I can listen to however many official tracks I want, watch all sorts of music videos and performances and fan cams, but I know to the core of my being that this is nothing like seeing them and hearing them in real life. Like, I just know they're going to be even above my expectations. Like, I know that they're insane, but that first time that I get to hear them will be such an experience. Like, did you hear Stel's voice? Oh, I'm so worried about job. Oh, 
That bit makes me want to punch someone in the face. <laughs> so. Thank you, fan cam maker, for zooming in at that precise moment. The truth is that you could have the best voice in the entire world. You could be the best dancer. You could be the most good-looking man that was ever born. But nobody teaches you how to work a crowd. Not everybody has that quality. SB19 have that quality, which is why when they go and they perform in front of non-18, everyone just gets floored because they're just engaged. They're actually like communicating with you through their song. They're not giving you a presentation of it. It's just such a different thing to be able to do and that gives them that edge this is what people should be jealous of you know <laughs> <laughs> I always like to see what Pablo is doing. I feel like he monitors the whole performance, not from like a control point of view, but he's always checking to see like, is everybody okay? And do I need to do anything else? He's just such a great live performer because he's always like, can I ad lib on this? Does this particular person on this day need to be supported? Should I harmonize with them? What else is required in this moment? He really, really lives in that moment, in that live moment, and I love it. See, he's really listening.
actual performances pick up harmonies the way that fan cams do. is lost. I hope I do that cut of the music. Such a good moment. I really could not take my eyes off of Pablo that entire time. He was so lost in that song. I love the way they start that off. I need Josh for once in his life to grow his hair out, just once. so satisfying to watch Ken. What happened to Jar? Oh no, his freaking shoes. I'm sorry, in that moment I forgot. <laughs> I need to look at main dancer. Oh,
every precise move of Josh's. Why? Unbelievable. Okay, I was totally simping over Stell's voice right there, and then they went and did that. This is the fun thing about watching fan cam footage, because obviously right now we're in this area of this part of the stage. Um, I guess that this person, well, it says Kentin, but I'm thinking this person likes Jar. Um, well, I'm hearing a lot of Jar screams from this area. So we're getting a bit of a focus on him. And so wherever you're placed, depending on the fan cam, you get a different experience of the whole thing. You get to see different parts of the choreography. And I just, I think people would probably question whether this whole set section was live like Stell's voice is so crisp and clear and precise that I bet people question whether they're singing live and we know that they are it's just an unreal amount of talent <laughs> three performances but why does it feel like i sat here and i watched a concert like this turned into an sb19 concert this was crazy the energy is through the roof and what a wonderful selection of three songs as well really really different i guess that like nyobe at this time was new and that was the ballad of the time which is why they were performing it but it seems really really fresh even if i have seen countless performances of the same song they always seem incredibly fresh and they bring their a game wherever they go like i feel like they've set themselves this task to like conquer every single audience that they come across Cross. they have to collect all of these 18 wherever they go and it's just so fantastic to watch all of these i love watching fan cam footage i feel like this is my thing <laughs> um yeah this was really great and you could hear that obviously there were a ton of 18 right there at the moments where it was quiet um you get this roar of cheers and very very like interactive people were constantly shouting for them and they were ad-libbing on top like getting 18 to join in sing along with us like shout um, so I really love this energy as always is through the roof vocals are always on point dancing I mean they could dance in their sleep like this and I guess that these sorts of opportunities won't come around again that much especially with like smaller audiences because obviously they've expanded so much in such a short amount of time so watching this and seeing where they were at this time yet still giving the same level of performance that we've seen in recent times it just yeah it was just a matter of time before they blew up like this and a pleasure to watch do talk to me about this set what did you think and i can't wait to hear from you thank you so much for watching this with me i hope that you had fun and until i see you next time take care stay safe <laughs>